Hi everybody, welcome back to Sacred Body Studio. My name is Fabi and let's start our mini routine for today. Remember that the important of these routines is just to you release your muscles, release tension and gain mobility. Don't worry about crazy fl flexibility. It's just make sure that you concentrate in release, extend your muscles, move your joints, move your spine, and that will help us to maintain and gain mobility. So are you ready? We're gonna start with our normal breathing. So you can keep sitting or lying on the floor. Now you are sitting, make sure that your back is straight. So you can do it, you can lean against the wall or you can sit on a chair. Just make sure that your spine is straight. If not, just lie down on the ground. So let's start, move your hands onto your tummy. Relax your shoulders, relax your face. Perceive the movement of your tummy, perceive the movement of your ribs, your chest. We're going to take a deep breath through your nose. Exhale through your mouth with that sensation of fog in a glass. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Again, inhale. And exhale. We feel the contraction of the epiglottis, more the engagement of the diaphragm. So we're gonna do the same, but this time inhale and exhale only through your nose. So let's go, inhale, the same sensation. When you lose the sensation, you can exhale as, again through your uh, mouth and then you close your mouth and then you will find again the sensation or fill in a glass. So let's take a couple of breaths here. Inhale deep. Exhale long, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, last one, inhale, exhale. Even when just these four breaths deep, conscious, our body relax, our blood circulation moves slower and our nervous system cool down. So let's just start, are you ready? So we're gonna start today on all fours. So move on to all fours. And I need you be careful here with the wrist. We don't let the weight collapse on the wrist. We spread the fingers, index fingers pointing forward and the other fingers are kind of gripping the ground. So you can press not only with your hand, but also with your fingertips. And your fingers are slightly bent. They are not completely flat, they're slightly bent to help us to kind of have that grip on the ground and help us to engage our chest muscles, our muscles and back muscles. Keep your hips above your knees and we're just gonna start here, shoulders um, above your wrist. Let's go into cat and cow. So remember, we go. Inhale this time, we're gonna arch our back, chest up, tail out. And exhale, we're gonna curve the spine, move chin to chest. And again, inhale, arching your back. And exhale, curving your back. Inhale, arch. And exhale, curve. Let's go two more. Inhale, arch. And exhale, curve. One more. Inhale, arch. Feel the release in your spine and your neck. Exhale, curving. Move chin to chest to stretch your neck. Back onto the neutral position. So at the moment, your hips are above your knees, so don't move that, just your hands forward as far as you can go, and we're gonna let the chest go down. Doesn't matter if it's just tiny. Keep pressing with your hands and your fingertips, and we're just gonna hold here for four. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go three. Two. Just one more, keep your tummy engaged. Gently, we slide backwards onto our heels as low as we can go onto our heels. Now bend your hands, move your palms together, bend your arms and move your hands just behind your head. And we're gonna hold here for four. Inhale deep. 
and exhale. Three, two, and just one more. Gently drop your hands back again onto all fours. Uh -huh. Shoulders above your hips. Shoulder. <laughs> Sorry, hips above your knees and shoulders above your wrist. Back onto neutral. And from here, we're just gonna move the right leg backwards. You can crawl the toes under on the left leg to have more grip on the ground. We're gonna inhale, drag the leg in, curving your spine, chin to chest. And exhale back again, but we don't arch the back. We come onto neutral and extend the leg. And let's go. Inhale in and exhale out. Let's go for eight, engaging our tummy and exhale. Let's go for seven and let's go for six. Let's go five. Let's go four, out, let's go three, out, let's go two. We try to keep it in neutral, that we don't arch our back so we can engage more our tummy. And the last one, everybody. Exhale. Good. Release. We're going to just rest on child pose to release our hands, so we're just going to sit back. We take a breath. Inhale, extending your arms forward. And exhale. Back again on two all fours. Left leg lift. And we go. Inhale, curving the spine, chin to chest. Exhale, move away. Press with your fingertips. And let's go for nine. And let's go eight. And Let's go seven and drag the knee from your tummy. Engage your tummy. Let's go six. Five. Take your time here to curve and then just back onto neutral. And keep going. Three. And away. Two. Out. Just one more. In. And out. Good. Back onto all fours. Press with your fingertips to don't force your wrist. Lift the right leg, right thigh. Keep your leg bent. And we're just going to pulse with your glute. So we're going to pulse. Mm -hmm. Ready. You can keep your toes pointing or curl the toes under if you feel okay, it's more supporting for you. Um, knee. Now it's important that we don't push the knee on the ground. Push your foot on the ground. And let's go. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, let's go. This is going to help us to strengthen our glutes and extend our thighs. So let's go, other leg. Ready? Let's go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Give your tummy in. Two, one. Well done. Now drop your knee. Curl the toes under, high plank, and we go down dog. In down dog, we're going to inhale, lift your heels, and exhale, heels go down. Let's go for three, and down. Two, as far as you can move your heels down without forcing. Just one more. Keeping your heels down, we're going to bend the knees, and we're going to push more our tailbone upwards by pressing your hands on the ground. So we extend deeper your arms and your back. You can, you are bending your knees. Let's hold two deep breath. Inhale. Exhale. Just one more. Inhale. And exhale. Slowly drop your knees back onto the ground. We're going to slide the right knee forward on the pigeon pose. Now here in pigeon, if your heel is touching or oh, your bum is touching your heel, you can open a little bit your foot inside, but make sure that your hips are square. If it doesn't feel good or your heel is far away from your uh, bum, 
keep it your foot under. Don't open it because it's going to put more pressure on your hips. So wait until you are here and then you can open your foot. So here we're going to just move our feet under the shoulders, press with your feet against the ground, lift your tummy. One more time, that sensation of pull up your pubic bone towards the belly button and then the belly button towards your chest bone. Relax your shoulders and we hold for four breaths. Inhale and exhale. Let's go for three and exhale. Let's go for two and exhale. And just one more and exhale. We release our palms back onto the ground, move back again, all fours, we swap our legs. So remember, if our heel is touching the bum, we open the foot as much as we can on the side, but we keep our hips square. And we're just going to hold here for four and exhale. Let's go for three and exhale. Let's go to exhale and just one more. Feel a nice sensation. Always when we are stretching, that we feel good. No pain, no forcing. Back onto all fours, everybody. Back onto down dog. Lift your bum all the way up. One more time. Inhale, lift your heels by curling your toes under. Exhale, heels go down without forcing. Let's go for three and. Let's go two and down, just one more and down. Now we're going to walk with our hands towards to our feet. Bend your knees if you have to, to move your tummy close to your chest. Keep the same with hips, knees and feet. Drop your head, inhale to prepare and exhale. We roll up the spine. Come all the way up and we're just going to roll our shoulders backwards. Great. We're going to go squat and forward bend. Just remember in forward bend, if our tummy is not close to the thighs, we're going to bend the knees. The most important here is to stretch our glutes and our back. Of course, the hamstrings are extending, but sometimes we keep the legs straight and we cannot go too low and it doesn't really stretch the glutes or the back. So bend your knees. With the time, the legs will become more flexible, so you will be able to uh, extend them more. Okay, so we go here, same with hips, knees, and feet. So we go squat as far as we can go. Exhale, forward bend. And here the important is keep the tummy close to the thighs. Doesn't matter if we have to bend the knees. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, we roll up the spine. And we give that rolling of the shoulders as well. We go again. Inhale, squat. Exhale, forward bend, dropping your hands beside your feet, bend the knees if we have to, to don't feel pain and to keep the tummy close to the thighs. Inhale to prepare, exhale, roll up your spine, good, roll your shoulders backward. one more time, inhale, and when we are squatting, press your feet against the ground, and then exhale, forward bend. Keep pushing your feet against the ground. Take a breath here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale to prepare. Exhale. Push the feet against the ground to roll up. So we try to use our legs as well to mobilize the upper body. And roll your shoulders. Last one, everybody. Inhale, squat. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale. Exhale, hold here. Inhale, one more breath. Inhale. And exhale, roll up. Good. And we just roll our shoulders backwards. How you feel? Good. Now we're going to open our legs onto the goddess pose. So we open our legs wider as far as comfortable for you. So from here, we're just going to move our feet to the corner. Remember, as far as comfortable, that we don't force too much the knees and that we have stability. You can lean against the wall as well, just to give you more support. Make sure that your back is straight. One more time, that sensation of pulling your pubic bone towards your belly button to engage your lower tummy, and then the belly button towards your chest bone. And then leave your chest bone. 
bend your knees as far as we feel good. We feel the work in the inner thigh, arms come up, shoulder level, and we're just gonna pulse with the hands. We go 10, nine, eight. You can go lower if you feel more comfy. Six, five, four, three, two, one. We extend the leg. We move our feet closer by rolling in, just to swing it in. <laughs> How we can call it, that? just bring heels in, this out. And from here, move your arms up, interlace your fingers, push your palms away, lift your heels, balance on your big toes, take a deep breath, inhale, and exhale, release. And we go one more time, heels up. Now hip press with your big toes against the ground because the big toes are your main balance and pull up your tummy and release down. Just one more, come up, push, push, push. Your big toes and release. Move your hands behind your head, elbows in. And we just let the head drop. We take a deep breath, inhale. And exhale. Head come up. Open your elbows, release your arms. Open your legs one more time, wider. Got this pose, toes pointing to the corner as far as you can go without forcing your knees. You squat down as much as you don't lean forward. Make sure that your back is straight, you can always use the wall. Now from here, we're gonna move the arms back again, shoulder level, palms facing down, and here we're gonna lift right heel up and down. Left and down, right and down, left and down, right and down, left and down, right and down, left and down, just one more, right and down, left and down. From here, we're gonna lean forward, and from here, we're gonna twist towards the right side, we hold here, take a breath, inhale, and exhale. Back to center, other side, take a breath, inhale, and exhale. One more time, toes to the right, take a breath, inhale, and exhale. Other side, take a breath, inhale, push your feet against the ground to get your legs, and come all the way up. Ready? Extend your legs, arms come up. Interlace your fingers, push your palms away, lift your heels as much as you can, even if it's just tiny bit. Well done. And then we drop here. Now we move our feet parallel. We're gonna go prasarita. Move your hands on your hips, not too wide, then make sure that your feet are as wide as you can keep a good stability, that it doesn't bend your knees and it doesn't force your knees. So hands on your hips, everybody. We go inhale, exhale, forward bend, all the way down. You can keep our hands on the ground to uh, help us to go a, a little bit deeper, or you can catch your ankles, whatever is more comfy for you. And we're just gonna hold here for four. Inhale, and exhale. Let's go for three, and exhale. Let's go two, and exhale. Just one more, Next. and hands on your hips, you can straight your back and raise your torso, or you can just roll up. Good, we have a big work in our inner thigh. Now from here, we're gonna move our heels back again, toes pointing away, we're just gonna lean on the side, swing, open your chest, and we're just gonna hold here for four, breathing, and exhale. Let's go for three, and two, anytime you close your eyes, and just one more. Back to center, other side, we take a breath, inhale, and exhale. Let's go two, and just one more. Oh, this exercise feels really good. Make sure that your legs stay always in the same squat position. Extend your legs, move your feet together. We come at the back of our mat. We're gonna go a spine roll. So we go inhale, a spine roll. We hold here in forward bend. Remember the important is to move the tummy close to your chest, uh, your tummy close to your thighs. You can hold your ankles 
and we just hold here, dropping your head for four, three, two, just one more. Lift your chest, and straight your back, walk with your hands forward. Move your knees back onto the ground, and we're going to sit down on our bum, okay? So sitting on our bum, we're going to cross the right leg at the front, one foot in front of the other one, hands behind, fingers pointing to the side or for to the front, whatever is more comfy for you. We push our feet on the ground, we lift our pelvis as much as we can, and we hold here for four, inhale, and exhale. Let's go for three. How it feels as much as you can go. Let's go two. Just one more. That's good. We release. We're gonna lean forward this time. As far as you can go, you can drop your elbows first and then see how it feels, or you can go all the way. We hold just four breath here. Inhale and exhale. Let's go for three. And exhale. Let's go two. And exhale. And just one. And exhale. How to prepare? Exhale, raise your torso. I feel so good. Now here, we're going to, the leg is at the front. We're going to place the foot on the ground and we're going to kind of hook the feet. This knee is open and this one is down. Maybe for some of us, then it's going to be wider. Just make sure there is no pain for your knee. Okay, and from here, we're just going to twist toes to the leg and we're going to hug our knee and we're just going to hold here. Use the right hand to push your pelvis forward to straight your back. As much as your back is straight, as much as you can twist. So straight your back, lift your chest and look from above the right shoulder. We hold four breath. Inhale deep. And exhale. Let's go for three. And two. And just one more. And we're back to center. So now we're going to drop the left hand at the back. Right arm is going to press against the leg and we're going to twist toes to the opposite side. We again use the, right, the back hand to straight your back and we hold here. Let the neck go as well, as far as you can look backwards. Inhale for four and exhale. Let's go for three and exhale. Two and exhale. Just one more. And exhale, release everybody. Now we're gonna swap the legs. So the left leg go at the front. In this one, it's better if you keep one foot in front of the other one and instead to bring them one under the lower leg, just to help us to mobilize more the hips. So hands at the back, fingers pointing forward if it's possible. We lift our hips by using our hands and the knees remain on the ground. We hold here, open our chest, we hold for four, inhale, Remember to close your eyes and really connect, visualize, and scan your body. Let's go for two. And just one more. We release everybody, the hips onto the ground, and we lean forward onto forward bend. When we close the eyes and we do that the scanning of our body, it really helps us to be aware how is one side and the other side of the body? And of course, it will help us to balance them. So again, try it, close your eyes, and then really just connect with your breath. And scan your body from feet onto your head. Let's hold for four. And exhale. Let's go for three. Two. Just one more. 
Let me come all the way up. Good. Now remember this part. So we put the foot on the ground, the left foot, so we kind of hook the feet, knee pointing up. We drop the left hand, lift the pelvis forward, lift your chest to straight your back, and then we twist towards to the left knee. We look from above the left shoulder and we hold here for four. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for three. And exhale. Let's go two. And just one more. Now we release. We change. And the arm this time go against the leg. Help us with the right hand to straight the back. And then we twist us to the side. We hold for four. And exhale. Three. Be aware of the neck position is connected with the alignment of the spine. One more deep breath, everybody. Inhale and exhale. And back to center. Release. Move your legs to the front. We're going to keep our hands beside our body and we're just going to swing our legs. You know, we just go sideways with your legs just to release our hips. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Now we're going to go our forward bend one more time. If we are not close to the thighs, don't keep your legs straight because they're only going to um, kind of um, lock the hamstrings, but it won't allow you to hinge. So what we want in this stretch is the pelvis are able to move forward and hinge the torso. But if we have the legs straight, the pelvis is pushing backwards. So what we have to do is concentrate to bring the tummy close to the thighs. And if we need to bend the knees, it's okay. With the time, you will see that you will gain more flexibility than this pose. Because in this pose, doesn't you? there is a point that you are not stretching. Because there is no the hinging and the leaning forward. So don't worry about that. Bend your knees. Let the tummy touch your thighs. Let the head drop. We hold here for four. And exhale. Let's go for three. Relax your shoulders. Two. And just one more. And we raise our torso, arms come up. Oh, it's really good, this stretch. Drop your arms, cross your legs. And again, if you want to repeat the whole routine from the top, just click on the chapter and it will bring you at the beginning of the routine. Hands into prayer position, everybody. Let's finish. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, jump. Inhale, up. And exhale. Just one more. Inhale. And exhale. Hands back onto prayer position. Thank you for joining us. How you feel? Feels great. The body feels great. It's the way we can take care of our muscles, our joints. Of course, doing other type of exercise will help you. But the yoga is the only one where we really stimulate as well the movement of the spine. So remember that you can find us in Instagram. Follow us in Instagram as a Sacred Body Studio. Subscribe, like, share, and activate the bell to notify when we release a new video. See you in the next one. Namaste.